This is the Novaya Zemla Archipelago, one of their most remote areas on planet Earth. And used by the Soviets during the Cold War for below ground nuclear testing. But what they did on the 27th of September 1971 shook the world to its core. They hammered our planet so hard that its shockwave went right through the earth and appeared here in Montana, North America. And then three days later, they did it again. The hammer blow event was recorded on 50 year old magnetic tape but today, the data has revealed something about our planet that no one knew before. This is the story of super rotation. The Soviet nuclear bomb blast was so powerful, it sent waves rippling deep inside the earth that ricocheted off the inner core, pinging a seismic array 4,000 miles away in the Montana wilderness. And this seismic signal has helped scientists calculate one of the most precise estimates for how fast the planet's inner core is spinning. We know the earth spins on its axis about every 24 hours but the inner core is roughly the size of our moon and is floating within an ocean of molten metal, which means it's free to turn independently from our planet's large scale spin. This phenomenon is known as super rotation and just how fast it's going has been hotly debated. John V. Dale, a seismologist at the University of Southern California found the signals from the explosions. Previous work to discover the speed of the super rotation has depended on earthquakes, but earthquakes send out juddering waves. Nuclear explosions provide a clean signal to work with. Elizabeth Day, a deep earth seismologist at Imperial College London says, it's like the earth just got hit with a hammer. But extracting the data from the Soviet hammer blow was really hard. The scientists spent two weeks in a room full of boxes laden with floppy disks sporting cryptic labels. Many of these disks and the computer tapes were so worn that the magnetic information on them had been lost. Roughly one in 10 could actually be read on a computer tape player. But with the help of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, they used the data to peer into the planet's core. By comparing the fingerprint of waves scattered back from the explosions at nearly the same locations, the team could calculate how much faster the inner core turned relative to the rest of the planet. They described the process as similar to tracking a moving airplane using radar. For many years, scientists have believed that the inner core is rotating much faster than us up here on the crust. Using the deeper Cold War era seismic ripples, they discovered that super rotation was both slower and more precise than all previous estimates, pointing instead towards the newly described rate of 0.07 degrees per year. But the study also reveals that the super rotation of the molten core of our planet might vary over time and the speed of the Earth's molten core, its super rotation might be the cause of magnetic polar shift over time. 
the scientists described the inner core as having a jagged surface with mountains rising or canyons cutting deep into the molten iron orb. They've already found mountains taller than Mount Everest deep inside the Earth. They describe the core as a blob warping over time. It's spinning, but it's also flopping. It's deforming as it rotates. More work needs to be done to fully understand the process of our super rotating molten core and how it affects us up here on the Earth's crust. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.